All right. So in lesson 1.4, page 17 of your math book, we're going to talk about rounding numbers. And you'll remember this from third grade, except, and it's, it's the same concepts where <clears throat> if the value that to the right of where we're rounding is five or greater, you would round up. And if it's less than five, you would round down, which means keeping the, the digit that we're rounding to the same. But we're going to talk about two methods, and we, we also mentioned this last year. So let's get started. We're on page 17. And during May 2008, the Mount Rushmore National Monument in South Dakota welcomed 138,202 visitors. A website reported that about 100,000 people visited, visited the park during that month. Was the estimate reasonable? So let's look at over here. Here's some clues as to what to do when we have a word problem. Underline what you are asked to find. We're asked to find, is the estimate reasonable? And circle the information we're going to use. Well, I only need to know this number. There's nothing else in there that I really need to know. And so you'll remember that an estimate tells you about how many or about how much. It is close to an exact amount. You can round a number to find an estimate. So whenever it says about, um, give an estimate, you would not give an exact number, but rather a rounded value. So one way we can do this is to use a number line. And to round a number to the nearest 100,000, we'd find the hundred thousands it is in between. Well, here's our number, 138,202. Which hundred thousand is less than that value? And we should come up with 100,000. Which hundred thousand is larger? So if this is 100,000, the next hundred thousand would be 200,000. All right. So we've decided which two values this number is between. And now we can use the number line to see which 100,000, 138,202 is closest to. So again, we have 100,000. We have 200,000. Exactly halfway between would be 150,000. So if a number is exactly halfway or to the right, we would say it's closer to the larger number. If it's to the left of 150,000, or from the mid halfway mark, we would say it's closer to the smaller value. So 138,202 is closer to 100,000 than 200,000. So it says, was the estimate reasonable of 100,000? Yes, their estimate was reasonable because 138,202 is closer to 100,000 than it is to 200,000. What number is halfway between 100,000 and 200,000? So we've already kind of talked about that. Halfway between two whole, uh, like tens, like if I had 10 and 20, I'd say the middle number is 15. If I had 100 and 200, I'd say the middle number is 150. So the midway point is 5. So in this case, we want 150,000. So, and how does knowing where the halfway point is help you find which 100,000, 138,202 is closest to? Okay, so what are we writing here is if I know the halfway point, then if the value is to the left of the halfway point, it is closer to 
the lesser value. If it is equal or to the right of the halfway point, it is closer to the greater value. So again, if I know the halfway point, then if the value is to the left of the halfway point, to the left, it is closer to the lesser value. If it is equal to or greater or to the right of the halfway point, it is closer to the greater value. So that's why it's useful to know what the halfway point is. Okay, page 16. We can also use the idea of place value. And most often, um, I find myself using place value. And so in this example, it says Mount Rushmore is located 5,725 feet above sea level. About how high is Mount Rushmore above sea level to the nearest thousand feet? So we're gonna underline this. And this has a keyword about that means don't give an exact number. We're going to round. So when we look at 5,725 to start, round to the near to, to round to the nearest thousand. We want to find the thousands. This number is in between. So on the smaller side, it's between 5,000. On the larger side, it would be 6,000. Now, in this number. We're rounding to the five. So look to the digit to the right, which is a seven in this case. Okay, and if the digit in the hundreds place is seven, so 5,725 is closer to 6,000 than 5,000. So Mount Rushmore is about 6,000 feet above sea level. And so I typically will do something like this. So they said round to the nearest thousands. The five is in the thousands place. I'll circle the digit to the right. If five or greater, round up. If the digit to the right, is less than five, round down, okay? So that's a general, that's a rule for using place value, okay? So now let's look at this number, number three. What number is halfway between 70 and 80,000? So we know a five is halfway between a 10, a base 10. So if we have 70,000, 75,000 would be halfway between 70,000 and 80,000. And so what is 75,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000? It would be 80,000 because it is exactly halfway between because it is exactly halfway, we round up to the larger 10,000. Okay. Round, <clears throat> well, I'm going to try this section. Round to the place value of the underlying digit. So we're at 64,000. 999. The 6 is underlined, so I'm rounding to the 6. I'm going to look to the digit immediately to the right. 
I see that the 4 is less than 5, so I'm going to round down, which means keep the underlying digit the same and replace the rest of the digits with zeros. So 64,999 is closer to 60,000. All right, let's look at the next one. We have 850,000, and they want us to round to the 8. So they want us to round to the 800,000s. So I'm going to look to the digit to the right, and it's exactly halfway between. If it's 5 or greater, we'll go up to the next greater 100,000 in this case. So 850,000 is closer to 900,000. 301,587, and I see that the 1,000s is underlined, so they want us to round to the nearest 1,000. Look to the digit to the right, and in this case, it's a 5. So that means I'm going to round up, because the digit that I circled, or that's to the right of the place value I want, it's 5 or greater, so round up. And then replace the digit to the right and the remaining digits with zeros. So 301,587 is closer to 302,000. All right, 10,832. We're rounding to the nearest thousands. Look to the digit to the right. This is five or greater, so I'm going to increase the 10,000. By rounding up to 11,000. Easy enough. All right, page 19. Suppose 255,113 people live in a city. Is it reasonable to say that about 300,000 people live in the city? Use the number line to help you solve the problem and explain. So, where would I find 255,000? Let's see, I see 200, 250,000 is exactly in between. So what are these lines? 210,000, 220,000, 230,000, 240,000. So each of these lines is worth another 10,000. So this would be 260,000. That line's 260,000. So 255,000 would be somewhere in between there. So about here would be 255,113. So simply put, if 250,000 is the halfway point, this number is to the right of it, so I'm, it's closer to the larger value. So that number that they want us to round to, 255,113, is to the right of the halfway mark. So it is closer to 300,000. Number two on page 19, round to the place value of the underlying digit. Okay, so we don't need to keep rewriting in this case. They've got the four underlined. I'm going to look to the right, and that's five or greater. So I will round up and increase the underlying digit by one to 935. And then the remaining part are zeros. The next one. They want us to round to the four ten thousands. So they want to round to the nearest ten thousand. I look to the digit to the right, and one is less than five, so it's going to round down, which means I will keep the four the same. So 641,267 is closer to 640,000. It is not closer to 650,000. Our next one, they want us to round to the hundred thousands. The digit to the right is less than five. So I'm going to keep 
we're going to round down, which means we keep the two, and all the rest of the digits are zeros. In number five, they want us to round to the ten thousands. The digit to the right is greater than five, is five or greater. So I'm going to round up. I'm going to increase the four by one to 350, and then I'm going to put zeros for the rest of the digits. Okay, number six. Round to the place value of the underlying digit. So five is underlined. I'm going to look to the right. It's five or greater. So I'm going to increase the underlying digit by one. So 600,000. 284,000. I'm going to look to the digit to the right. It's less than five. So I will keep the digit and round down to 280,000. 199,814. We're going to circle the digit to the right of the thousands. Now, in this case, it, uh, 8 is 5 or greater, so we're going to increase the 9 by 1. But when I do that, that becomes a 10, and so I have to regroup. And so the 199,000 actually becomes 200,000, because the next highest 1,000 would turn that into 200,000. And finally, 923,718, the 1 is underlined, so I'm going to circle the digit to the right to help me figure out what I'm going to do with that place value of 1, uh, the 110. So the 8 is 5 or greater, so I'm going to increase the 10s by 1. I'm going to round up. And 718 is closer, closer to 720 than it is to 710. All right, in number 10, the number 2,000 something is missing a digit. The number rounded to the nearest thousand is 3,000. List all of the possibilities for the missing digit. Explain your answer. So remember what we said. If the digit to the right, if the desired place value is five or greater, then round up. So we want this number to turn into 3,000. So the missing digit could be a 5. 2,500 would be exactly in between, so we'd round up to 3,000. I could put a 6. That would also round up to 3,000. I could put 7, 2,700. I could put 2,800. And I could put 2,900. And so... Any number, 2,500 or greater, will round up to 3,000. And page 20. What is 277,300 rounded to the nearest thousand and to the nearest 10,000? So, this time they're not underlining the digit for us. So we have to decide which one is the thousands place. If you need to use a place value chart, do so. But we can also just write the number and then go from right to left. These are the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the one thousands, the ten thousands, the one hundred thousands. So I want to round first to the nearest thousand. So I'm going to underline the seven because that's in the thousands place. And I'm going to circle the digit to the right. In this case, the three is smaller than five. So I'm going to round down 
and keep it as 277,000. Then they want us to round to the nearest 10,000. So if this is 1,000s, the next 7 is 10,000s. And I circle the digit to the right, which is in the thousands place. In this case, the 7 is 5 or greater, so I'm going to round up to turn this into 280,000. Number 12. About 300,000 people attended a festival. For numbers 12A through 12E, choose yes or no to show whether each number could be the exact number of people that attended the festival. So in these numbers, we either need to know that they're going to round down to 300,000 or round up to 300,000. So I'm going to underline the 100,000 in all of those values. And then I'm going to circle the digits to the right in each one. Okay, so 351,000. So this is five or greater. So this would change to 400,000. This one, the four is less than five. So I'm going to keep the place value as 200,000. In the next one, I'm rounding to 200 thousands. The five is halfway between, so I'm going to round up to 300,000. In the next one, the eight is bigger than, is, is five or greater, so I'm going to round up to 400,000. And in the last one, the zero is less than five, so I'm going to keep my three in the hundred thousands place and it's going to round down to three hundred thousand. So now all I have to do is look at are they three hundred thousand or not. First one's no. Second one's no because two hundred thousand is not three hundred thousand. Next one is yes. Four hundred thousand would be no. Three hundred thousand would be yes. Okay. And then connect to science. Data gathering. Some scientists count and measure groups of things. Benchmarks can be used to estimate the size of a group or a population. A benchmark is a known number of things that helps you understand the size or amount of a different number of things. Use the benchmark to find a reasonable estimate for the number of coquina shells it would take to fill a jar. So here's our benchmark, and they're saying this height is about 100 shells. So how many 100 shells are there? And so it's about the width of a finger, maybe a, maybe a pinky. So one, two, three, four. Five? So it would take about five times the benchmark to fill the jar. The most reasonable estimate for the number of coquina shells it would take to fill the jar is 500 shells. Okay, so we would circle 500. So now we're going to practice that on 13 and 14. Use the benchmark to find a reasonable estimate. Circle the reasonable estimate. So this height in this jar is 500 beads. That's our benchmark. So to get all the way to the top, about how many would it be? So one, two, three, four, five. So about five. So I'm saying it's about 2,500. Well, so with 2,500, I would round up to 3,000. And here we have 10,000 blades of grass in this section right here. Well, it can't be 1,000. That's just logical because that little section is already 10,000. And if this little section is already 10,000, the whole thing can't be 10,000. So my only reasonable estimate is 100,000. 
So they're saying that it would take 10 of these little strips to fill this space. Okay. So that's really it for lesson 1.4. Um, so until tomorrow, may the numbers always be in your favor.